Hi, this video is about my experiences with the 308 Winchester cartridge and long range shooting. Before we get into the video, I'll uh, just explain what I mean by long range and that to me is 800 out to 1200 yards. To do that you really do need to load close to maximum. Uh, don't expect to get there at 1200 yards with your target loads that you use at 100, 300 yards. Nothing wrong with those, they're very accurate usually. Low recoil impulse, pleasant to shoot. But generally, if you get out to 1200, um, those sort of loads will, will keyhole, or the bullet will go through the target sideways, and we've had instances of that, um, and people be getting quite pissed off because they can't hit at that distance. So my experience of that is you've really got to load close to maximum. Now as everyone has to be conscious of health and safety and all the other bullshit, um, you should approach these loads that I'm going to mention uh, with caution. That is start 10% down and work up. So let's, uh, let's cover the components that I use. First of all, the brass. The poor. I've tried a lot of other cases over the last 10 years and uh, they're fine but I find that this brass you can see there has a couple of advantages. The first advantage is out of the box it's ready to go. You don't need to do any case prep. Everything's done for you. So, unlike other manufacturers, you, you get the little bit of paper in the bag and says you should resize this. And some, some brass that comes loose bagged, uh, the necks are already dented before you even start, which, I don't know, seems to me to be a bit suboptimal. The putter, you can prime and go. So, I recommend these. Another advantage is that they do clean up well when you've used them two hours in the tumbler and as if you look at my other video on case cleaning I always clean the necks with a little bit of Brasso uh, never done any harm so they're the cases I use and also they don't seem to need trimming quite as much as some other brass they don't grow so much when you shot them you do have to trim but I've noticed that uh, it's not as frequent as some other manufacturers brass so that's my first component and if you really want you can use the box turn it into an ammo box but it's, it's a bit big for me so that's our first one bullets well I use the Sierra Match Kings 175 grain hollow point boat towel there now if you study a bit of ballistics theory you'll find that the the boat tail really does have an effect at, at extreme distance particularly when the bullet is transitioning to subsonic velocity the the boat tail the taper at the back reduces the turbulence um, at the back of the bullet and hence reduces drag so you get longer range and better stability and interestingly um, at short ranges it doesn't matter whether you use boat tail or flat base you won't notice a difference but anyway that's what I use boat tail also helps because it, the, obviously the base is tapered you can put it in the case like that so it aids in seating where flat base you, you you can't do that so that's the second component 175 grain because generally the heavier the bullet the better of course uh, the laws of diminishing returns if you try and put a 190 grain uh, bullet in the case you probably find your velocity is quite low and that's another thing to consider the muzzle velocity of a 175 grain Sierra Match King 
from the book is about 2750 feet per second, 2750. At a thousand yards it's still going at 1280. Now what we want is our bullet to arrive um, supersonic. We don't really want it going subsonic. Now the speed of sound in air at, uh, I can't remember what temperature, is about 1125 feet per second. So at a thousand yards we're doing 1280, we're fine. At 1200 yards however, we're doing 1119 feet per second. So we have, in fact, transitioned to subsonic velocity. However, it's only just, and certainly my, my bullets actually go through point first, they don't tumble. So that's okay. So let's just sum up those two things. Try and load up to maximum. Aim to be supersonic at the range that you want to shoot at. That is 1,000 or 1,200 yards. And use the best brass you can afford, which I think is Lapua. I think Norma are even dearer, but um, that's what I use. Powder, okay. Varga. I've used others. Just trying to get that in shot here. I've used uh, some of the others by Alliant and Hodgson, and I find Varga the best powder. It burns clean, whereas others quite quite often they tend to smoke the case up. Not sure why that is. And the only um, case staining I get is on the necks, which I think you get on all of them. Now let's go into the load. I use 45 grains of Varga with the 175 bullet. Now that is not um, a wildcat load or anything like that. In fact the max load from my Lyman book is 45.2. So I'm 0.2 of a grain under max but the usual caveat applies, work up to it. And that gives me a good result. So Varga's my favourite powder. Lastly, primers. Well, due to uh, Brother Obama and the, and the rest of the crew, uh, we have to take what we can get in terms of primers. So I use Federal, uh, CCI, Winchester. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't think, well, in my type of shooting, they make any difference. But again, every time you change a component, you should work up the load. So there you are, powder, bullet and case, and if you load around the data that I've given you, you'll probably be successful out to those ranges that we've mentioned. Lastly, there's a nice loaded 308. Um, I also, just to finish up, I actually do seat the bullet 20 thou off the lands. Um, I haven't experimented going closer. Um, I do tend to think that probably I'm wasting my time that other issues like my own abilities come in. But um, you can do that as well. I mean, people recommend starting at 25 and coming in 5 thou each time. I, I just seat at 20 thou and be done with it. So that's it. That's my long range shooting load, the components I use. Hope it's been of some use to you. Thanks for watching.